All right, so check it out. We've got our mobile rack version two. Um, the first iteration of the mobile rack, we were using just that Pelican flight case for sort of a mobile TV studio. Uh, just enough to get some labs and some video con uh, hardware in, USB hub, a couple of other things that are gonna allow us some playback. Um, and so that's just that section on the top. So we have the Zoom F8, uh, we have the Ambeo microphone that's plugged into there. We don't need the video hardware this time around, so I've kind of pulled a few things and made room for the full-on snake. So that's a 30-foot snake in there for that Ambeo. Uh, gets you a lot of flexibility. We have four channels of wireless, uh, two Sennheiser, two Rode Wireless Go, two units which is nice because it technically gives us two extra channels of recording uh, capacity since they do the auto record on the lab itself. Uh, so we could do actually 10 channels of capture with just the Zoom F8 that's in that box. Um, <clears throat> and then you'll see we have a couple of different cans. I'll talk about that in a second. You'll see right there I've got this little Bluetooth transmitter um, and that is actually plugged into the monitor output on the X32 rack. That's probably the nerdiest and coolest thing I've done to my rig in a long time because it allows me to wander and solo stuff and troubleshoot without having to have hardwired cans. Um, yeah, the latency, obviously, you wouldn't want to monitor with those and um, try and play an instrument, but um, I've got this thing in low latency mode uh, and it's, you know, better. I'd be interest I'm interested to try it because the, the Sony WH... 1003 whatever they are um, definitely have quite a bit of latency just sort of built in so I'd be interested to try something with low latency and see how low you can get on that okay so I've got my little thing here on the back um, this is all wired into the switch into the front of the rack which is sort of recessed and that way it gives me access on the front over there as well um, this is our uplink port, so again, just using that for control, so sending uplink out of that switch into this switch, and then this is switch is connected to the home network, and then the X32 rack control um, Ethernet is connected to that as well. Uh, all the Dante, so we have uh, the one special thing about my X32 is I do have the Dante card, a little bit hard to come by, um, and then you can see in here I have really carefully sort of zip tied all of the different snake bits that need to be together together uh, I need to go back and trim some of my ends but I was kind of waiting until I was really really confident that I was done here uh, power's been all really carefully routed so nicely coiled so this is for the F8 that just kind of comes up and goes with the F8 but it's uh, sort of on the side there um, and you can see I was very careful about how I routed power so that all of our data cable is um, far and wolf away from everything. So here's our outputs from the, our physical outputs, uh, main, left, right. I have a set of, I, I made a splitter cable for that so I can send it to two places just passively at one time. Nicely sort of routed our data cable around to the front. And over here we have, our, oh, I gotta turn on the headphone amp. Um, over here we have uh, this HA8000 power play. Really uh, a great little tool. Cheap headphone amp. Uh, gives you eight individual amplifiers, uh, which actually gives you 16 outputs because there's a second one on the back. They also have direct input, and so you can see mix one, mix two, mix three. Those are discrete buses off of the X32. Um, and then five through eight are main one, main two, which are these two in inputs on the left here. Um, and that's super cool because I actually have, so the first input is going to be hardwired. That's going to be the fourth mix. Uh, I believe that's, yeah, so vocal IEM mix. And then the fifth mix, which is sub two, um, I actually have a Dante or an Audinate AVIO plugged into that headphone amplifier so I can send Dante something and have these guys pick it up. Super, super, super useful. Um, yeah, and then up here, let's talk about the top half. Talk about the top half. Okay, so, my, this is my, my Zoom F8 rig. I've got a piece of gaff tape that I've done into the inside of the lid, and this just flips up and goes inside when it all closes. And then I just put a piece of tape there, and that lets me hold my iPad there. Um, I can wander with the iPad if I want to. This is nice, because I can hop back and forth between... The Zoom F8 control app, kind of monitor what's going on there. 
there's my MBAO, do recordings and stuff like that, and hop back over to mixing station. All right, so we've got our X32 stuff going on here. Okay, and then I had, oh, those aren't plugged in anything right now. Um, I have uh, a HearTech M8RX, which is in my bag right now. Um, super useful because I have a sub out here, which can plug into that, and that gets me Dante uh, IO out of the Zoom F8, um, sort of quickly in a pinch. I probably will buy another set of AVIO Dante units just to have a, a small one in the bag there. Um, okay, and then we have my computer. I'm running Reaper right now. Uh, we have a USB hub in the bottom of this. I won't show you how I unpacked everything, but you can kind of see that I have uh, this snake in here for the Ambeo mic, and I made my little cod piece for all the connector bits because um, the Ambeo has this, it's like 12 pins. Anyway, it's four capsules in here, so there's a lot of pins, um, and this particular cable is like $200 for a 30-foot one, and so I just i am using a four-channel four snake. Okay, um, and then in here, this is super cool. In the lid, I have a passive, I won't show you, maybe I will show you. Back there, I've got a little passive antenna splitter. Okay, uh, I've got SMA mod on my Sennheiser Labs. And then those are going to my passive splitter, and then I have my whip there um, all up in here. Here's my fifth output, so I can plug in computer or my um, wireless go labs. So in here we have all of our accoutrements. Uh, I usually open this the other way. Um, there's all of our lab stuff in there. We have our body packs and everything in there. Um, and we have a few extra mics and clips and everything, and that just kind of all packs up neatly into that and then is sort of up and gone in like 10 or 15 minutes um yeah and then the snakes the snakes so we have <clears throat> drum snake uh so that's kick and then overheads uh, and then we have keyboard snake so keyboard is uh two channel keyboard playback uh talk back mic and then one channel for acoustic guitar and then this other colorful eight channel snake that i made um and then another four channels of TRS output for the IEMs, the wireless IEM units. Um, and that all just coils right up in there. And then this whole rack goes inside of this big tub. And that all packs down real nicely. Super, super stoked on this thing.